Hey everyone, here's a quick tip for you on how to keep those pesky.pkf files from exporting alongside your WAV files. And in case you don't know what those PKF files are for, they can essentially be thought of as an image file for the actual waveform you recorded. But how would that be useful? Well, most of the time, it's simply not useful. And in fact, can be extremely annoying. But when dealing with very large waveforms, it can be useful because it helps load the image of the waveform much faster, which in turn, in some rare cases, speeds things up a bit for the user. But for most of us, we simply don't need them, and they just end up creating extra files, which often causes confusion and organization issues, along with some other more serious issues, such as having students and clients send me PKF files by accident, which doesn't do either of us any good, since PKF files don't contain any actual audio. And after all, my brand is all about receiving, consulting on, and improving audio, right? So now I have to email them, get things straightened out, and sometimes even meet with them online via screen share, which is a very inefficient way to go about this seemingly simple task, right? Now, with that said, I'd be lying if I told you I didn't send out PKF files at least a few times when I first started using Audition way back when. But when you think about it, it's a pretty understandable mistake, right? Because the audio and the PKF files share the same name, they just have a different extension at the end. And sometimes getting those mixed up is totally understandable. But anyway, let's move on and show you how to quickly get this very common problem handled, okay? On a Mac, the first thing we want to do is click on Adobe Audition, then click Preferences, and then select Media and Disk Cache. And by the way, if you're on a Windows system, you can get to the same place by simply going to the master menu at the top of Audition, choose Edit, and then scroll down to Preferences, and navigate to Media and Disk Cache from there, okay? Now that we're here, and get ready, because this is the really tough part. You see this little checkbox right here? Well, simply uncheck it, and that's it. You're done. It really is that simple. So now when you save a WAV file, it won't have a partner file with a PKF extension, which, as you know, if you've been dealing with or have been confused about this issue, that should clear things up and will help you out a great deal. All right? I hope that info was useful. Have a super productive day, and I'll see you in the next video.